Hello, martial arts journeymen and women. This is dark. I realize this is dark because it's 4 a.m. in Portland. The thing is, I am going to my first Wim to Warrior training. I had to wake up really early, uh, but so far I feel good. Uh, and I'm just, I decided I'm gonna take you for my first training for the first trip, I'm gonna show you around the gym. Yeah, so you'll get to know what I'm gonna do for the next six months. I'm excited to take you along this journey and let's get going. And there the bus arrives, which we're gonna take to the gym 25 minutes every day. So we are in front of the SBG. The doors are still closed. There's a bunch of us. It's dark and early. So I'm here with Ricky Davison, yep. uh, my now coach <laughs> right. for the Wim to Warrior. Uh, just can you say a little bit about your background? Uh, yeah, I've been training at Straight Blast Gym for, since 1998, somewhere in there, beginning of 98. So it was 20 years. Um, this is the only gym I've trained at. Um, myself and my brother, we started at the same time. His name's Travis Davison. Um, he's actually the vice president of the organization now. Um, and we're Matt Thornton's first uh, homegrown black belts from Portland. Nice. So, yeah. Very Unfortunately, cool. my brother got his a little bit before me, but that's mm. all right. I got all my other belts before him. Um, <laughs> I, I fought amateur MMA for a little while. Um, uh, I'm a second degree black belt mm. like, under Matt Thornton. Um, but yeah, prior to this, I never did any martial arts training. This is the, the only the first time I did it's one of the best gyms in the world. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah that's true. That's true. Um, um, yeah. What's your specialty? Like, do you prefer grappling or striking? Or you know, it's else? funny. It's funny you ask that. When I first started, it was mostly just grappling, mm -hmm. and then I didn't even, actually. I, I think for the first couple of years, I never put a gi on, and mm -hmm. then I started wearing a gi, and um, which was awesome. Uh, and then I would do some a little bit. Did a little bit of stand up. Not as much as, as I did grappling. And then mm. there was a period where I was doing a lot of stand-up. Mm. And then I went back and did grappling. And then when I was fighting, of course, it was mm. less gi, more stand-up and, and grappling. Um, and then once I was done doing the fighting thing, then I went back and was mostly gi. I would say 80, mm -hmm. 80 90% of the time. Okay. But the last couple years, unfortunately, I'm getting older now, 42. So um, mm. I, you know, I don't go as hard as I normally you know, would back in the, back in the day, but um, I would say the stand-up for me is a lot. I, I enjoy it a lot more mm. than I did back back then, I guess. Right. And and so our gym's mostly known for jujitsu, well, at least yeah. the Portland gym, sure. not not mm -hmm. all the other SPGs. But mm -hmm. the Portland SPG for a long time, especially in the fight scene mm -hmm. locally, was oh they're good at jujitsu. They're good. Yeah. So when I started running the MMA comp team, mm -hmm. I was like. I, I, that's great for, mm. to be known for that, but I want people to be like, okay, they got good hands too. Yeah, so, right. and, and the nice thing is I've kind of focused on that, keeping the ground, the wrestling, um, and I've got two of my fighters have 145 pound and 155 pound title uh, at a local program or, you know, uh, show here, yeah. and they both won standing, nice. and they both are more stand-up fighters than ground, which I take pride in. I want them sure. to be good on the ground too, but I take pride in that too. So that's your kind of yeah. balancing the yeah. SBG Portland yeah. stand up game. Yeah, but I love, I mean, now I like it. I, I love it all. So. Cool. What's the vision for the training? Like, what's in terms of like, how, how are you planning if it's not a secret? <laughs> no, there's no secret. How is it? How, what's the plan? How to build it up? For the yeah, I feel months? like Brian, uh, Brian Walsh and I, who coaches MMA with me, um, mm -hmm. we did it last year mm -hmm. and 
It was great. It was awesome. It was the first time we'd done it. I'd seen it one time in Ireland mm -hmm. um, at John Cavanaugh's gym. We went yes. out there a couple years ago, mm -hmm. and they happened to have the show, the finale. Mm -hmm. So we went and watched the fights, and I was like, "This is, these guys actually look good. Like they know yeah. what they're doing." So when it came here, um, yeah. I was I was pretty happy to be part of it, um, and it turned out great. So I we kind of have a. a a plan of what we're going to do similar to last year but but better right. um but yeah just our start out slow like we did today yeah. um and then work our way up get up, get the basics uh, uh, really drill the basics the first right. month mm. of stand up ground uh and wrestling and then start mm. you know picking it up as far as a little more live training mm. um and by the end by the third fourth month you know to where we're actually moving around we can spar a little bit yeah um and, and not worry about somebody getting hurt because they're not they're out of posture or stuff like right. that. So. Well, thank you. Yeah, no much. problem. Thank you. For thank you. Yeah, time. I'm super so, glad to have you here. So I'm very happy awesome. to be here, and we'll see each other quite a bit. Awesome. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Thanks, much. man. Yeah. So I'm back home after the training, and it went really well. It was really really fun. Uh, I'm I'm really yearning for basics, and it was mainly based on basics. Some some stamina as well. Uh, I'm a bit sickish, probably um, still after the jet lag and tired, so I didn't do training afterwards, like extra training. I'm going to do some today in the evening, like BGJ extra training. But yeah, so far I'm really excited. I'm going to start interviewing the coaches, so a lot of great content is going to come. Uh, so I have a few hours to rest until evening training. That means I have to make sure I rest. Tomorrow there's training again at 5.30, meaning... I wake up at four again, and that happens day after day after day, five days per week. But uh, so far I feel good. I feel I'm gonna, uh, as soon as I eat well, as soon as I sleep well and rest, I think I'm gonna do pretty well. Oh yeah, and one more thing I wanted to share. I am actually excited to, sh to tell you that uh, I met someone already in the program who, said, who told me that he is there because he watched my videos and he learned about the Winter Warrior Portland program uh, from watching my videos, so I was, I was really excited, um, happy to hear that there was that influence from the channel. It's exciting for me. So yeah, I'm gonna start filming my progress, uh, first of all, in BJJ by rolling with one of the coaches each Saturday. So this Saturday I'm gonna do the first roll. That should be exciting to see. Well, as you know, a lot of stuff is gonna come. So thanks for watching and I wish you to own your journey.